Hi, I'm Jackson Houston, here to give you your Wednesday news update. Looking for a devilishly fun day trip? Kings Island's Halloween Haunt has got you covered. Halloween Haunt opened up on September 23rd and is running most nights until October 29th. After 6 p.m., guests can go through six goblin and ghoul filled mazes. For ticket pricing, go to visitkingsisland.com. Enter if you dare. Grand Theft Auto fans were given an unexpected look into Rockstar Games' next installment in the franchise. Leaked footage of the long-awaited Grand Theft Auto 6 was spread all over the internet. Rockstar Games issued a statement shortly after confirming it was unfinished assets from the game. On September 22nd, London police arrested a 17-year-old suspect with reports stating it was in connection to the leak. Living in the day and age of the internet, leaks have become more common in the entertainment world, leading to false expectations and sometimes unwanted controversy. One of the most iconic voices in film is stepping down from his signature role. James Earl Jones, the man behind Darth Vader's menacing voice, has seemingly retired from the helmeted villain. The 91-year-old has signed away the rights to use his voice to Disney, meaning they can recreate it using AI technology. While some may be hesitant to accept this, Disney has already experimented with AI. In this past summer's Obi-Wan Kenobi, all of Darth Vader's lines were done using the program. Fans were shocked to learn of Jones' limited participation after the show had premiered. It leaves many to ponder the debate about resurrecting actors who have passed, which Disney has already done a few times with Star Wars. In box office news, the Billion Dollar Movie Club has inducted a new member. Universal's Jurassic World Dominion is the latest addition to the leaderboard. It joins 50 other movies shortly after Paramount's Top Gun Maverick took flight and reached number 11 in the highest grossing movies of all time. The music industry suffered a great loss yesterday as the coal miner's daughter, Loretta Lynn, passed away. At the age of 90, Lynn had three Grammy Awards for her music and a Lifetime Achievement Award. Many Kentuckians are mourning the loss of Lynn, who was born and raised right here in the bluegrass. Beyond her roots, the country music star was not afraid to take a stand in her lyrics. Lynn was banned on multiple country radio stations for discussing issues like birth control and more of the struggles women face. That's it for your Wildcat News Update. I'm Jackson Houston, and I'll see you next week.